This video introduces plagiarism terms and definitions. After this lesson, you will be able to define copyright, fair use, open access, public domain, attribution or citation, bibliography or works cited or references, and style manual. Copyright is an exclusive legal right given to the original creator of content to publish, print, perform, film, or record their work and to give permission for others to do so. This is covered by law in the United States and in other countries. Fair use is a legal doctrine that promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyright protected works in certain circumstances. Some activities that qualify for fair use include, but are not limited to, criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Open access is the free and open use and access of content or information to anyone without the need to pay for its use. Public domain is the state of content that is no longer under copyright protection or does not meet the requirements for copyright. These works can be used freely and without permission of the former copyright owner. Attribution or citation is to give credit for information such as ideas and words that are not originally yours. Citation style outlines specific formatting requirements for a paper and is usually related to a subject area. For example, APA style is the American Psychology Association and is used in social science. MLA style is the Modern Language Association and is used in humanities. CMOS is the Chicago Manual of Style and it is used in history. Bibliography, or works cited, or references. These words are used interchangeably and can be considered synonyms. These are a group of citations at the end of a paper presented in a specific format like APA, MLA, or CMOS. It is a word used to describe the grouping of citations at the end of the paper and depends on the style you are using. For example, APA uses references, MLA uses works cited, and CMOS uses bibliography. Style manual. A style manual outlines the formatting requirements for a paper, in-text citations, and citations provided at the end of the paper in the references, works cited, or bibliography. There are multiple style manuals you can use for each of the citation styles. These can be either paper or electronic manuals and are generally available through your school's library. For example, Highline College Library offers a citation guide with helpful information and links to citation style manuals. Style manuals are used by students as well as by scholars, editors, journalists, and other professional writers. Thank you for watching this video.